Hello, this is Craig Shoemaker, New Media Evangelist for Infragistics. And before we get started, there's just a few things I'd like to share with you. If you have any questions about this screencast, please feel free to email me at cshoemaker at infragistics.com. If you have any support questions, please go to infragistics.com slash get help. And if you'd like to check out the documentation on any one of our controls, please go over to infragistics.com slash docs. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I'd like to show you how to set up some of the default templates found in the Web Data Grid. This is for Web Data Grid 2008 Volume 3. Let's uh, show you what I've got set up here. This is just your basic ASP.NET page, and uh, I've got a script manager set up on the page, the Web Data Grid, and a SQL data source. Now, no customizations have been made to the grid. Um, the only thing that happened was I applied the data source ID over to our SQL data source. And that data source is looking at a local copy of Northwind and basically doing a select all from the products table. So let's take a look at how we might set it up to display some custom information if there's no data in our query and also what happens if an, uh, if an error is encountered while trying to fetch the data. So if we right click on the control and we say edit template and we go to control templates, you'll see that we have the empty rows template and the error template. So we can come into the empty rows template and we can say something like um, your query produced no results. Okay. And for the error temp template, we can do something uh, completely original like, oops, there's been an error or something like that. Okay, so in order to, to force these uh, templates from showing up, we need to make a little change to our, to our SQL statement here. So basically what we need to do is send down a SQL statement that we know won't return any values. So we'll say select from products where product ID equals negative one. All right, let's run it and see how that looks. Okay, so here we have uh, the, the grid basically with all the headers and then some content in the middle saying that your query produced no results. Uh, this is nice because the, the user gets an idea of what the, what the data form should be, what the structure should be by getting the, the, the headers. But then inside the, the body of the grid, we've, we've got the message saying of, of what happened. So that's if there's no results found, but what if there's an error somehow while uh, trying to get the data? So there's no product table, it's the products table. So let's uh, introduce this T-SQL error and see what happens. Well, in this case, basically the control doesn't really know what went wrong, just that something did go wrong. So it doesn't try to display the table or the headers or anything like that. And it just outputs the HTML found within the error template. Now these errors can be raised by any number of things. It's basically if an exception is thrown during data binding, it will show this message to the user. So there you have it. That's working with the control templates inside the web data grid. I hope you find it easy to use. Thanks. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.